Hello, hello, welcome to another edition of Soccer as we like it, the Man United edition. And as you know, it's no news, it's not breaking news, but you have all witnessed it for yourself. Harry Maguire needs to be dropped from the Man United team and needs to be stripped of the captaincy. I say this for two reasons. We all saw what happened yesterday when he's playing for England. He needs a break. I mean a break. As we can all see, if you follow the trend as a Man United fan, what you can see, and I will point this out to you directly. While you're watching our video, don't forget to smash a like, drop a comment, what you think about Harry Maguire, should he be dropped, should he be stripped of the England of the Man United captaincy, he needs to be dropped, what's your take, and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the logo on the bottom right of your screen, thank you very much. Now, if you notice, when we resumed the lockdown, our first game was against Spurs, who was responsible for that goal? It was Harry Maguire out of position, couldn't catch up, was in out of position, lost his place, got beaten. Another game we played, I can't remember, I think it was Bournemouth, he got nutmeg. So you see, he has been struggling. He has been struggling. This was all before the Greek tragedy. Okay. You see the games against Southampton, against West Ham, him marking the wrong players, him marking his own teammate. And, and, and you can see he has started. The only reason it wasn't so obvious or eminent was the fact that. Um, Marshall and Rashford and uh, Bruno were scoring the goals, so we were not losing those games. It's when the games are being lost, you could now start seeing the cracks in the wall. Let's go to the let's fast forward to the game to the Sevilla game. The Sevilla game, two crosses, two goals from Sevilla. Bad marking, lack of leadership at the back, struggling to catch up, bad just. Poor organization as the leader and the captain of Manchester United, you should be orchestrating, directing, and leading and telling and organizing and directing the traffic who should be where, Talk, pointing to them, telling them where they need to be. You are the captain, that's what you do. But at the same time, he's there doing his hands like this all the time. He seems like you know, and that's not good enough. All this falls down to Ole, he wasn't the captain of Leicester City. He's the captain of England. No, is he the captain? I think it's Harry Kane. So, in place of Harry Kane, I think he's the vice captain. But at the same time, why he was giving the lead, the captain at Man United, I don't know what Ole was thinking. Being a leader doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a leader with responsibilities. In Alex Ferguson teams, he had leaders. Let's go back to the 94 double team. He had Ince, he had Hughes, he had character, he had Pallister, he had Bruce, he had Robson, he had Keane. He had Cantona. So you know, those were leaders on the field, but they were not the captain of the team. The team captain was still Steve Bruce. Proud to Steve Bruce was Brown Robson, who carried the club for years on his back in the, the single-handedly. So he could be a leader on the field, but it doesn't mean he has to be a captain. Look at the previous captains, Robson, Keane, Bruce, Vidic. These are men who was put the heart and body and shed blood for the badge of Manchester United. Those were the kind of players we had back in the day. But currently, we don't have those. So, the severe game was the little, the last show that brother comes back for me. Then fast forward, he went to Greece. With all what happened in Greece, he was going. To, he went. He stayed in prison. He still has a case in court. We don't, we don't know where that case is going. We, we just don't know. Then, the season started. Against Crystal Palace, you saw he was out of position. Against Tottenham, it was an absolute disaster. Against Tottenham, he was like, is his ball heading? I don't know. He has a problem. He needs to be dropped. He needs to be dropped. I will honestly tell you now, he's not the best footballer out there. He's a good player, but not the best player. And there's a difference between a good player, a great player, and a world-class player. He's just an okay player. And I'm being honest. Some of you are not going to agree with me, but that's the honest truth. Let's call a spade a spade and let's call it as we see it. Let's stop papering over this crowd. Oh, we, we paid 18 million for him. And what, have we really got our money's worth from 18 million? I honestly don't think so. Because he's how much better is he than Lindelof? Not a, mu not a lot. Not a lot. How much better is it than Bailly? I don't think that's even a lot. I think it's so small. But So what difference has he made? The, the balls into the box. How many corners has he scored on set pieces? See my point? So what I'm saying now is, Harry Maguire, we all saw in the whole world was watching the game in England and Denmark yesterday. 
bad tackle, miscontrol on the ball, red card. He's not focused. We saw the game against Tottenham. He was all over the place. You know, it's like he switched off. He's not there. And you have all these pundits. And I mean, these pundits are killing the game. It's bad enough the press are already biased. It's now bad enough with pundits talking a lot of bollocks and a lot of nonsense. Oh, he might be having mental health. Have you tested him for mental health? If he has mental health, I don't think he'll be even playing for Man United at this current state in time. He needs time out. So all these people say, oh, he has mental health. So when people like Pogba are having a bad time or uh, Martial are not playing well or even Danny, David Lewis are making so many mistakes at the back of blah, blah, blah. I don't hear them saying, oh, he might be having mental health issues. Really? So you see that bias and that stupidity of because he's England captain and because he's British? I don't care. The fact of the matter, he needs to be dropped because he's off form. He has a lot on his mind. We have not, he hasn't been diagnosed with mental health. So that's, a, that's an actual insult to people who have suffered mental health. Gary Lineker, an ex-England captain, talking like, oh, he needs break, he has got mental health. Did you test him? Were you the doctor? Did you go to the, the, the NHS with him? And the doctor said, oh, Harry had mental issues. Has he come out to say it? So using that as an excuse, I think it's an absolute insult to people who are really suffering from mental health issues. What bloody cheek. But anyway, the game against Newcastle is a must win. There is no ways, two ways around this. It's a must win game. And I'm going to tell you this. We have played three games and got three points out of nine. Which means Everton have a game ahead of us. We are already nine points behind Everton in week four. Exactly. So... Newcastle is going to be a must-win game. But I was talking to a few United friends of mine in forums, in text messages, in, in tweets. These small teams, the so-called small teams, make United look worse. Because United make them look so good by underperforming against the small teams. Harry Maguire does not need to play against Newcastle. Regardless of what it is about Man United, not about Harry Maguire. It's not Harry Maguire United. It is Manchester United without Harry and Ole needs to get it fixed. He's had a bad run of the end of last season. He's coming to the new season with another bad run of form. He had the Greek tragedy in between last season and he's now got the England tragedy on top of all that. So it's like Manchester United, Greek, Manchester United, England. He needs a break. He needs time out. There's no way around it. He hasn't... I, I, I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose if he's got mental illness. But I think the, the press need to be ashamed of themselves. Keep on and constantly using mental illnesses for excuses for people who... Do they really know? Have they seen his medical records? When he was a Leicester City, I never heard of a mental illness. So now they want to use that. Oh, when David Lewis was making those clangers at the back for Arsenal... I didn't see the press saying, oh, he might be suffering mental illness. Oh, I forgot, David Lewis is he's, 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 he's Brazilian. Uh, Martial was not doing well last season, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I didn't see Fred say he might be having mental illness. Remember, Marino dropped him for Sanchez. I didn't hear any about mental illness. Pogba, we don't even want to discuss the whole Pogba issue. That's on another level. We'll be here all day and I don't want to do that. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, the, you know what's going on. You know the situation. It's a conspiracy and a bias against certain players. As bad as it is and as sad as it is, it is the reality of what is really going on. Harry Maguire needs to be dropped. He needs time out. Take two weeks, go somewhere, somewhere other than Greece, somewhere, maybe come to America, and, you know, whatever. I don't, I, think, I don't think because it's coming from England, I think that they're even alive in America because of COVID. So he needs to just go and take time out, is what I need. When he takes time out, it's not how, is he, oh, there's a saying. It's not how big a dog is in the fight. It's how big the fight is in the dog. He, Ari Maguire might be down, but is he out? If he's mentally tough as a character... As a man to lead United, one of the biggest global franchises in the world. If he can't handle it, just say, Ole, this captaincy is weighing me down. I kind of can't deal with it. I thought it would. Mate, Leicester City 
and Man United are two different ball games. Leicester City is like comparing uh, a Mini Cooper to a Rolls Royce. The gap is so big. The gulf is 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 is, is, is astronomical. So there, there, there's no two ways about it. But the point here is this: Harry Maguire has been making mistakes upon mistakes. Look, look at the header against Tottenham. Heading it back. He, that ball was not. It was like he was heading a balloon. Really? Really, mate? Then he pulled Luke Shaw out of the way. So, so it's a catalogue, a catalogue of misses, of mistakes, a catalogue of errors, lack of focus, lack of awareness, lack of vision. He needs time out. If he doesn't get time out, if Sabget and Ole keep playing him, he's going to cause more damage than good. And that's what we don't need. At the moment, it's bad enough. We're already four. We're already nine points behind in week four. Week four, we're already nine points behind. This was supposed to be the season whereby we're gonna uh, improve from last season. I didn't say win the title, but show some fight, show, show some 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 aggression. But we just lie there, nothing, no fight, nothing. But this is where we are. So if you join my join, uh, drop, drop 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 your comments, tell us what you think about it. If you think Harry Maguire should be dropped against Newcastle, he needs time out. Should he also be removed from the England as the Man United captain to take off that extra weight? Because don't look at the men who have managed, who have been. I'm talking, at, I'm not talking about captains like at Valencia and Ashley Young. Those were just there for the sake of they were senior players. When you talk about real Man United captains, I mean leaders, leaders who led their team through war zones. Who brought? Who took the the, the 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 needle through the eye of a camel? Those are the men I call Man United's greatest captains: Brian Robson, Roy Keane, Vidic, and Steve Bruce. These were the four guys. Canton was a captain, but mm, Canton was, Canton was like lead by example kind of man, uh, captain. But Roy Keane, Brian Robson, Steve Bruce, and Vidic, they shed blood for that club, and it took. A lot of character and mental toughness. When your team is, they will be able to give the team and shout on the players, scream at the players, tell them that you know your team is not doing well. Not these guys, whereby, all right, Harry, mate, see you later at the pub. I'll, I'll keep a Guinness for you. That's all that nonsense. See what I mean? It, it, it's, it's all that crap. But. He needs time out. And all these pundits keep on saying, oh, he has mental illness, till he has been diagnosed. Stop putting up things as an excuse. If a player's off form, we can all see he is off form. If a player's making mistakes, we can all see. We are not blind, Gary. Gary Lineker. We are not blind and we are not stupid. We, as United fans, we, over 200, over um, 20 million United fans watch United literally every week. And they can see the mistakes that Harry's making. They're not blind. Think about it. We ain't stupid. So stop putting that as an excuse. He's off form. Call it as it is. He is off form. And he is showing that he is not the greatest footballer. All right? From me, Tim Ross, your host, I'm out of here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're watching for the first time. It's by smashing our logo at the bottom right of your screen. So drop your comments, tell us what you think, share our comments and, you know, talk about it. He's Harry Maguire. Does he need time out? I'm Tim Russell and I'm out of here. From me, it's goodbye and good night. I'll see you guys after the Newcastle game.